It's Scott Turner with Radford Radon Abatement. It's a private real estate transaction. I've been called upon to activate a passive radon system. And this happens frequently enough to where I have to do some outside the box stuff to uh, get the lay of the land. And so this is certainly an odd setup. What are we doing? Well, so when they built this home, the builders installed a passive radon system. They just had the home tested and it, it came in above four. So I was called upon, hey, just activate our system. Well, there's no access to the passive radon pipe. Uh, it's not revealed anywhere in the basement. The basement is totally finished. And so we've kind of got a mystery to solve here. Um, before we start cutting in drywall in a million dollar house, we, we really want to get our data right and to be sure of some stuff. So this is an outside of the box method that I came up with. We know this is the radon pipe. Uh, we have a way to test the manometer here. Uh, we've got decent airflow. And so what we'll do now is we'll go ahead and set tests in the basement. And if this does the trick, then we know it's worth it to start cutting into drywall down here in this really nice finished area. Uh, I got some horseback riders there. <laughs> so I make videos for other radon mitigators who's looking to get into the business and if you're a homeowner as well I hope you found this of some help. If you picking up anything from this video that might help you I have lots more where that came from. So please hit like and subscribe. Here we are uh, on this house. We did end up having to put in a radon system from scratch and we abandoned the existing passive system because after testing we, we found out that it was just ineffective. So what we did was we put a little cap on the top outside there and uh, I'm going to show you what we did. Uh, to basically we just uh, clean slate, brand new system. So we're here in this mechanical room. So that's, that's me. Um, it's easy to get confused with all the other plumbing because it's the exact same materials but obviously here's our manometer uh, which is an indicator of airflow if you weren't aware of that already a lot of people look at that mistakenly think well that's my radon level no it's an indicator of airflow so we're moving a good bit of air through this system and we're capturing the slab of the home but what happened when they built the home is they needed to stop because of all the rocks they encountered so they made a crawl space and so now we're treating the crawl space as well okay so what we have here is a combination sub slab depressurization system and also crawl space encapsulation i did not encapsulate this crawl space as a heck of a job but what i did was i tapped into it so all right here's my my pipe here and uh we've just branched off and we're capturing this and I've got a valve here in case we need to come back and tweak it. So we wanted the lion's share of the airflow to go to the slab. and uh, But we are pulling air from under here. And so we can adjust that if need be. Hopefully we nailed it. And, you know, it just keeps going and going and going. And I'll take you, I'll take you with me here. And the reason why it's kind of important is... Under here's the master bedroom. I bet they'd be pretty interested in having uh, this area treated where they sleep right upstairs. So we're proud of that. And then ultimately, all right, so here's our pipe. And it comes out there uh, on the corner of the house. All right, well, I hope you found this video helpful. And uh, be sure and hit like and subscribe. I put out unconventional videos with regards to radon as often as I can. <laughs> so, uh, all right, thanks for watching. You guys have a great day. Bye.